Hello again everyone, this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks. I wanted to give you an update on uh, my good buddy Alvin here. Uh, now this is an RC project, it's uh, 1 8 scale, an FX models kit of the research submarine Alvin. I've been working on this for the last few months. I wanted to give you an update uh, on where we're at because I switched tracks and I wanted to show you uh, why. So let's take a quick look at where we're at right now and what I'm up to. So first of all, just to take a look at the uh, overall boat, as you can see, basically the entire outer hull uh, is complete now, uh, with the exception of the, uh, the clear glass or the, the clear portals. I've got uh, plexiglass functional hatch on the top of the boat. Um, the other thing that I rigged up and, and something that I put uh, you know, some degree of thought into was how to hold the upper hull section onto the lower hull section elegantly without any external you know bolts or anything like that and what I came up with uh, was a retaining bolt in the back hidden behind this section um, which is having to be built like this anyway so what this is is just a removable cover uh, for a hold down bolt, bolt a stainless hold down bolt and this is magnetically held in place just like that. So we just pull it off and we can undo uh, the single bolt and that allows us to remove the forward section of the hull. So I want to talk a little bit about the uh, control of the boat, the actual RC guts of the boat. Uh, I'm going to show you how I've got that set up. So this is my original uh, plan for controlling the boat. There's a watertight box I sourced. Uh, it's waterproof rated to about 15 feet of depth. Um, we've got leads for the thrusters. We've got leads for lighting. Uh, we have outlets for the ballast system, which was going to be this uh, rubber bladder, this um, blood pressure cuff bladder. Um, it was all coming along, you know, exceptionally good and actually it, it works fine, but the further I got along, the less and less I liked it. In my mind, a watertight box um, is kind of an archaic way of doing things. And I went along with this because this is kind of how everybody else had done it and it was immediately the path that my mind went. But the more I thought about it, the more I liked the idea of continuing my use of cylinders. So. Let's take this out and I'll show you what I've got in mind. Now this was actually sent by the owner because he had purchased it thinking to use it as control. And obviously it's exceptionally long uh, and it's not going to fit inside the hull. So uh, some modification is going to be necessary. Things I like about this, uh, this is completely set up, ready to go, well tested, well documented uh, and, and basically bulletproof. Single output shaft uh, in the back for the propeller. We've got three uh, seals out here for linkages. Only going to need two of them. Um, and then we've got a complete gas ballast system uh, in here. But my idea is to go with a hybrid system that's going to be a low pressure pump system that'll pump air from the surface when the sail protrudes from the surface um, with the gas system as a backup uh, and for just bringing the boat to positive buoyancy when it's underneath the water. So my plan right now is to cut the cylinder right here, mount it in the hull, something like this, with the ballast tank sitting on top. I'm a lot more excited about this idea than the idea of the box. So uh, let's see what we can make happen here. All right, after chopping, this is basically what we have uh, to work with. So I've got to obviously build some end caps, uh, one for the electronics compartment and another one to seal off the servo uh, on the back of the ballast tank. But uh, that's not going to prove to be uh, too much of a challenge at all. Um, going to need to make a lead to connect the servo, run the, the servo um, lines between the electronics compartment and the ballast compartment. But again, I, I don't think this is going to be a major deal. 
Um, basically to do this, just so you know, I, I set this down on my workbench, uh, set up a brace and then ran my uh, marker and just spun it around marking the height and then I just used a hacksaw. Uh, nice and simple, uh, cuts nice and clean, uh, made a nice straight edge. So this is what we've got to work with. I'm going to set up the watertight cylinder right now with all the electronics, uh, doodads and toys and we'll look at installing it. Okay everyone, this is what I ended up putting together. Uh, I know it's been a little while uh, since you've seen progress on here. I've been busy, been traveling, but uh, I'm really happy with how this control system for the boat is turning out. So this is a, a, a modified D&E cylinder. Uh, as I said earlier, it's been cut, blocked up, new bulkheads uh, put in place. And the way I've got this rigged up, it's actually a hybrid ballast system. So it does have a full gas ballast system in there for when the model is completely submerged. Uh, but there's an air pump system. You can see the twin air pumps right there that will draw air through a snorkel and blow it into the tank. Um, the setup is actually pretty slick too. Here's the, uh, the battery. Let's get this put in place so you can see how everything goes together. That's a big 12 volt, 8 amp hour battery. This basically goes in place like this. And you can see I've got some guides on the battery there and that'll hold the battery in place. These get bolted down into the boat. The ballast tank gets bolted to the top of that. And then you can see these little wings on the top of the, uh, the ballast tank there as well. And they got magnets and they're basically designed to hold this flex shaft uh, in place and stop it from vibrating, which is something that I saw when I was testing uh, a little bit earlier on. So there you go, that's the, um, the control system for the boat. Um, really, next steps are testing the cylinder and then I am going to be trimming the boat out. So, thanks for joining me for this chapter. Um, look for the next one hopefully coming very, very soon. I will talk to you next time.